Hi, I'm Noel Till. Welcome to Till Talk. Peregrine planets are unendingly fascinating. I have defined peregrine planets as those that are not aspected in the Ptolemaic style, which is conjunction, square, trine, sextile, or opposition. If the sun is peregrine, the life energy is going to dance to a different drummer. You just know that. It's delightful. You can mention this to a client, and they love to hear their idiosyncratic nature respected. If the moon is peregrine, similarly, the reigning need symbol is going to really run wild. It's trying to find a place to set up shop. They dance to a different drummer, these people, and they like to know that you know that. And with a smile on your face, you can address the highly individualistic potentials suggested by the peregrine planets. The peregrine planet is going to manifest most in the issues of the house that the peregrine planet rules. If a peregrine planet rules the ninth, we're going to have quite an awareness of the importance of higher education. If there's a struggle with getting that fulfilled in life, tensions around the 18th year with discussions of going on to college, you're going to see a lifelong dedication to making sure education has been fulfilled one way or another. If there is a peregrine rulership of the second house, for example, there'll be some very deep concerns about self-worth. And these are usually quite startlingly noticeable. Peregrine planets show us the way, often, into the real forest of trees in a horoscope analysis.